Hello, everybody, and welcome back to um, Be a Rail Fan 6448. It's um, it's been a long time since I've sat down and talked to everybody here. Um, welcome back to um, everybody that is a person that has been here before, and um, welcome to anybody that is new around here. Um, I want to apologize right off the bat about um, if I sound a little bit awkward in this video. I haven't sat down in front of a computer and just talked in a really long time. Um, but today we're going to do a little channel update. I'll let you guys know what's going on over the last, what, five years or something like that. Um, five, six years. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to answer some of the questions that were asked in the... Uh, announcement video for this video that I uh, posted about last week and I uh, do want to apologize for this one being a little bit late I've been on uh, midnights for the last week and I was gonna do this video on Saturday but I ended up going to railfan at Carew on the Dundas sub so it did get pushed back a little bit but I honestly it left the opportunity for more questions to be asked so I should have said something in the meantime about it and I apologize that I didn't but here's the video now I'm making do on my promise so here we are um, I think we'll start off with a little bit of a channel update and before we get into all the comments kind of like on the last video that I did um, and don't worry I'm not gonna disappear after this Q&A either because it seemed like basically after I did the last Q&A video it was, I kind of just up and disappeared on everybody but I, I don't plan on going anywhere this time so let's um, move on into uh, things that I got planned for this channel and what we're going to do in the upcoming future and yeah, take her how it goes. So honestly, before I actually got right into the channel update, I wanted to say um, too, like, this video will probably sound different because I'm actually not going off of a written script. Most of my videos in the past that I narrate, I go off of a written script and I honestly I hate the way that it sounds because you can, I kind of sound robotic in all of those videos and even throughout all the Engines of Via videos and the last Q&A video, you can, you can very clearly tell that I'm reading off of a script and I mean, now you can probably definitely tell that it's just coming from me, talking to you and like, that's why I'm kind of have broken up speech a little bit too because I can't just sit here and think about what to say on the fly sometimes and I mean, it's kind of uh, hard for me to do that, but I'd rather sound more genuine and be more genuine instead of writing off of a script and then going from there. So here it is, genuine me in the sense of not reading off of anything. I'm watching the videos as same as you are in the background, talking to my computer, talking to you guys. So all of that aside, um, I wanted to kind of update you guys on what the plans are for this channel in the next little bit. I mean, uh, if you guys can't kind of already tell, I've kind of started posting on a schedule already. Um, Via videos will come out Monday. Freight videos will come out um, Wednesday. Same with another Via video. So most posts will be at 12 p.m. Um, other than on Wednesday, the Via video will come out at 3 p.m. Okay, then. Thank you very much for that. Um, and then also on Friday, you'll get something that's like CN, DXR, like freight related stuff on Fridays. Um, and this is just because for now, I'm going to try this schedule out because um, at my work, I do uh, a three shift rotation. So I do midnights, days and afternoons. Um, and it kind of makes it hard on certain shifts for me to get out and go rail fanning like for this week um, and next week I'm on midnights. So like any chance of getting via 84 is basically not there because I don't want to stay up until 11 a.m. Um, to get the train and then sleep for five hours and then get up again and then do it all over again. Um, so that's why for certain weeks you'll only kind of get one thing. Like when I'm on midnights, I make sure to get via 87. Um, when I'm on day shift, I get done at 3 p.m., so it's not like, I basically have all day to catch stuff if, like, 568 hasn't left yet. I've gotten 568 at, um, right after work before, 
I can get their return. I can get, and I, I can just get other stuff that's going on around town. Um, or I can even make it out to um, other places to rail fan, like back in Woodstock or even go to London or other places like that when I get done on the day shift. But on midnights or even afternoons, on afternoons, the only VIA train that I'll be able to get is VIA 84. And then I won't actually be able to get any freight stuff pretty much in between any of that because I'll be at work from 3 to 11. And that's basically when they do all of their work is basically in that time frame right there. So I'm trying out this schedule to try and get videos ahead for that when I'm in those shifts where I can't really do much there's still stuff coming and there's like you're still getting videos out and whatnot um so we'll try that out for a little bit and see how that works and if i end up being able to get out more than i thought i was able to get out then we'll um i'll start posting more and more i don't think i'll post on weekends though um because i do have a life outside of everything as well obviously and i mean I need to try and balance everything as best that I can. So, like, I mean, we'll kind of take it as things go. But for now, the plan is to post things. Vid one video Monday, two videos Wednesday, and another video on Friday. Friday. And so that is... So, yeah, that's basically four videos in a week, which isn't bad. That's basically a week's worth of videos in one week, so... I mean, I hope that you guys are all right with that. I assume that it is, since, I mean, something is better than nothing, and I basically got nothing for the last five years, and I do also want to apologize for that as well. Life has been crazy for me. Um, about five years ago, six years ago, five years ago, I moved out of my uh, childhood home that I had lived in for 15 years, and um, I didn't move very far. I moved maybe a street over, but... Um, it was um, definitely a big change in my life, and it kind of, I don't know what honestly really happened with that. It was the move, life got crazy, I got a job, I kind of just lost interest in the hobby for a little bit, and I mean, like, it's always been there in me, I've always loved trains, but I mean, it just wasn't really there, and I don't know if it was, I didn't think I had the time to do it, or if I just wasn't interested, it was, I don't know. But as of lately, I've definitely really been missing it, and I've been missing talking to you guys and engaging with people in the community. And I mean, like, what we had built here was such an amazing thing. And I mean, with engines of Via and engines of Go Transit, like, I've been getting questions inside YouTube, outside of YouTube, for the last five years about engines of Go Transit and if it will ever come back or if I'm ever going to do anything on it again. And We'll get more into that later in the video. I don't want to spoil anything, but there is more information on all of that that I do want to get into, so don't worry about that. Um, but all in all, I, I'm sorry that I never said anything when I did leave. I'm sorry that I just abruptly left. I mean, I know a lot of people definitely anticipated my return, and even when I started posting stuff back in 2013 for a little bit, um, I don't even know what really happened there. I had planned on getting back into things full swing there as well, but it just never ended up really happening. And I realized that. I actually had forgotten that I posted back in 2013, or 2023, geez. Um, and I was looking back on that, and I felt so bad for kind of coming back without coming back. And I mean, like, I know it's not that long later after I think I only posted the last thing in August, but still, I mean, people thought I was back and I wasn't back, and I mean, it kind of ruins trust throughout people, and I I definitely don't want that. Like I said earlier, the community that we built here is absolutely amazing, and I definitely want to try and rebuild everything in the community that we have here, and see where the future goes for this channel, because I definitely want to do more projects, and talk to you guys more and just get out and rail fan more and just do more things in life so with all of that being said i think we'll move on to some questions um and then we'll kind of get into something else that i would also like to talk about So there definitely wasn't as many questions this time as there was um, in the last video, and that does make sense because, I mean, I don't think as many people know that I'm 
back that did watch the channel before or anything like that. Um, but we do have a couple questions that I would like to um, address at least. And the first one would be, what video did you enjoy making the most? And honestly, that is kind of a hard one for me to answer because I did enjoy doing everything. Like, everything I've done on this channel, I've enjoyed as a whole. Like, um, Engines of Via was a fun thing for me to do. When I did Engines of Go Transit, it was fun. Uh, rail fanning, I just love trains in general, so I, I love getting out and watching trains. And I mean, like, aside from, like, my favorite videos, I think the more, like, least favorite ones that I did were would have been when I started YouTube, back when I did more model stuff. Um... But I think my favorite videos that I've done are the Engines of Via ones. Honestly, I, I, I've got to say it. I've got to say that. Only for the fact that I put a lot of time, I put a lot of effort into them. And, you know, I had a lot of fun narrating them and a lot of fun doing them. And, you know, like, I honestly would like to expand upon that. And I've had some people tell me, too. I technically should have to do another episode of Engines of Via anyways, because Via has their chargers now, and that's another engine that Via has that I haven't covered, so we'll, we'll, I'll take that into consideration on still kind of doing that a little bit. Um, and moving on to the next one. What happened with your break? Hope everything was okay. Also, your engines of Via videos were pre er, pretty cool. Thank you very much for that, and I kind of actually did explain it at the beginning of the video. Um, I knew there was going to be some comments like this one, um, asking where I was and what I was doing, but I did plan on addressing that as a part of, like, a channel update kind of thing. And that's only because I kind of did leave you guys in the dark for quite a while, and once again, I do want to apologize for that. I know I've apologized already, but, <clears throat> um, I just want to get it out there. I do feel really bad about it, and I want to thank everybody who has welcomed me back with open arms and that... All the messages from people that I used to talk to that I have gotten now about my return and everything. I just, I do want to thank everybody that does still watch and support and everything and whatnot. But, moving on to the next question. Um, welcome back. It's been like 32 years. Hope you've been good. Um, thank you very much, uh, the Winnipeg Rail fan. Um, I definitely remember uh, meeting up with you back in the uh, CP days of uh, Canada 150, back when we uh, when I went up into Winnipeg for a little bit. Do I ever have any plans on creating a new engines of or episodes or series of anything like that of that sort? Um, yeah, I kind of do. Um. I've been kind of working on some stuff for a little bit now. Um, it's still really early in the works, and it's probably still going to take a little bit before anything comes to fruitation. Um, but I'll definitely get into a little bit more of that on the uh, end of the video kind of side of things, because I don't want to really spoil things a little, like, too much. I just kind of want to briefly touch on everything. Um, and the other question that was asked, um, was, what is my all-time favorite diesel locomotive? And when I seen this, a part of this comment, um, I was kind of like, honestly, I have no idea. Uh, it's definitely a tie-up between the SD40-2 and an F40, but they're, they're basically the same engine. One's just a cowl body SD40 and fit for passenger service, and one's just an SD40 fit for freight um i don't know i've always loved them I, I don't know what it is and you know what throw a gp38 in there too honestly like it between the three i think an sd40-2 is my favorite like 3393 and 3394 um were probably some of my favorite engines ever besides 3054 3054 was its own kind of uniqueness um but SD40-2s are definitely where it's at. They're like, to me, they are like the thing that not saving freight service, but from switching from F units to something else, when you think of an older style train, you either think of an F unit or you think of an SD40. And 
yeah, like, I don't know. I think, yeah, definitely SD40. To um, sum it up into a shorter span, um, SD40. <laughs> and um, uh, the other question that we would get to is, will we see more of the HO fleet? So, unfortunately, since I moved, I haven't had the space to set anything up. Um, but I do have plans on making a track around the top of my room. Um, I'm probably going to do that this summer, and if I do, I'll, I will definitely make video progress of it and keep everybody updated on everything and whatnot, but I did have stuff set up in my garage, but we ended up needing to use the garage for something else. Um, so I had to take it all down, put it back into storage, and most of it's either still sitting in the garage or all my engines are in my room so that they're not in the cold. Um, and to get to the question that everybody is asking, um, anything about engines of Go Transit or any engine of series. So, to be short with it and to not kind of get into it too much, um, I am writing a script for um, engines of Go Transit to re redo episode one so that it's so that we're starting fresh from the beginning. Um, but I'm not going to just do it episode by episode. I'm going to write out a couple scripts at a time, narrate them, edit them, and then post them out so that I don't get tired of doing it. Um, because that was a big thing with Engine Sophia by the end of it. Is I, it, Although I had a lot of fun doing it, um, by the end it kind of got a little bit repetitive. And I definitely don't want this to feel like work either. I want it to be my side hobby and still enjoy all of this and whatnot. And like... I still want you guys to enjoy the stuff that I'm making, and I don't want things to feel rushed or anything like that, and I want to take time on Engines of Go Transit. Um, so it might be a little bit before you get anything. Um, I don't have a definite date or time frame or anything yet, but I, like, I want you guys to know that something is in the works. It might be a little while, um, but it's there. Something is there. It's cooking. Uh, um... But yeah, um, there definitely wasn't as many comments in this video as there was in the last video. Um, but it kind of came out to pretty well the same length as the last one, just a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, um, really, I think we're going to conclude it there. Um, once again, thank you for everybody that did stick around through my absence and that welcomed me back with open arms. Um, Apologize once again if this video sounds really awkward. Like I said at the beginning, it's been a really long time since I've sat down and just talked to a computer and to you guys. And like, I mean, it's it's definitely surreal sitting in a room um, just talking to a computer. It's weird. I haven't done it in so long. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll definitely do more stuff like this down the road. Um, because I want to engage with you guys more than I kind of even did last time. And I really did like the Q&A video last time. And even doing it this time, I really enjoyed it. So we'll definitely do some more stuff in the future. But thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.